Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, I've been out here this morning practicing with the plastic wrap solar ignition. And I wasn't sure that the this nine o'clock sun was gonna be hot enough, but uh, we was able to get ignition fairly easily. with our oak catkins. So let me show you that process from start to finish. Not that hard. It's good to be in a stable position like I'm on these stairs and so my elbows can be on my knees and we can keep the focal point trained on the tender for minutes at a time. Always wear your shades when doing solar experiments. This is how you're liable to find plastic wrap if you have to make this out you know out at a park somewhere out at a campsite first thing we're gonna do is straighten it out and then gather all four corners up Then we'll gather up these intermediate sides, bring them up to the top. Sometimes this is easier if you go ahead and start putting a little water in there. And this is a technique that takes a lot of patience. So it takes patience to get your aqua lens made just right. It takes a minute or two to build up enough ember in the tinder bundle to go ahead and blow it into flames. That's one of the reasons I like this technique. It's laid back, slow and easy. I think I have all the edges gathered up to the center. Now we want to bleed out as much of that air as possible, just like on the Ziploc bag. So let's squeeze it and try to bleed it all off. Twist it up. Now, you want this to be as round as possible. You don't want all those creases in there. So just take your time, put some pressure on it like that. Let a little bit of time go by until all the stresses sort of relax and distribute themselves across the plastic and then tighten it up a little bit more to try to make as true a globe as possible without creases. Those creases are gonna make distortion and uh, make it harder for you to get the solar ignition. So I'm gonna set this down and go ahead and compact my catkins. I set it to where you can see it right here. All right, compact these as tight as you can get them. And then the heat of your hand is gonna sort of make them stay in this shape, this compact shape. They'll, when you let the pressure off, of course, they'll relax a little bit, but pretty much you want them to stay as hard as possible. So the more time that they spend in the hand under pressure, the better it is. Even when we do get this ignited, it takes another couple of minutes for you to keep blowing on it and to get that ember intense enough and deep enough to where it'll maintain itself without you having to blow on it every 15 to 30 seconds. There's 
there's a good surface there. That's where we'll ignite right here, where it's good and hard. And I guess we have 10 o'clock sun now, so it should be even easier than the practice session I did this morning in the nine o'clock sun. Now, let's go ahead and tighten it even more. driving that ember deeper and deeper and making it more and more intense and at some point it'll become self-sustaining. How about that? Here's the original one that I practiced with this morning. Still holding together well. It took a little adjusting, a little bit of patience to get this to ignite, to get to, to ignite the cat cans hot enough to where I could blow on it and then intensify that ember. Always want to find the focal point on your finger first and then stick the tinder bundle in place of it. So, and this is, this is going to last 15, 20 minutes.
loblolly pine needles. y'all love me some solar ignition i guess you could tell that by the hundred or so videos that i have in the playlist do check out that playlist and try some of these techniques yourself get back with me and let me know how they work for you all right y'all appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one